And now it's time for Bum Reviews with Chester A. Bum. Tonight's review, Burn After Reading. Oh my god, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life! There's this guy who finds a disc, except it belongs to another guy. And there's a woman who's with the guy, the guy who currently has the disc, not the guy who did have the disc. And there's another woman with the other guy, the guy who did have the disc but currently does not. And there's another guy sleeping with that woman, the woman who was currently with the guy who currently had the other disc. No, no, the other disc had the guy. No, no, hold on. The woman who's currently with the other guy who currently does not have the disc but the other guy and the other woman have the disc. Currently. And that guy is seeing another woman! The woman who's currently with the guy who has the disc and the guy who doesn't have the disc because there's actually two women and uh, both those women are going with those guys. And on top of that, he's married! So that's three women! The woman married to the guy, the woman married to the other guy, and the woman seeing the man who's currently married to the other woman. Does that make sense to you? Me neither! So that one guy, he creates a chair and it's like the automatic woman-pleasing chair! And if you're wondering what it does, I'll tell you. So the one guy gives the disc to the woman? The guy who currently has the disc from the other guy who currently has the disc but now gave the disc to the other woman. And she takes it to the Russians! And they're like, What is this? And she's like, I don't know. And they're like, Piss off. <laughs> and suddenly, one of the guys dies! Don't worry, I won't tell you which guy. Well, okay, it's the guy who currently had the disc from the other guy who currently had the disc but gave it to the other woman, the woman that was married to the other guy. No, no, wait, she wasn't married. She was a woman going out with the guy who was currently married but never had the disc. Oh, now I spoiled the whole movie. Everybody knows the story. So there's these CIA people, and they're like, What's going on here? And the other guy's like, I don't know. And he's like, Piss off then. Hooray! So at the end, the fourth guy breaks into the other guy's house. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to tell you about this guy! This is the woman who's in love with the guy who's seeing all three women who just killed the other guy who just took the other guy's disc! Whew, glad I sorted that out. Things might have gotten quite confusing. So at the end, something happens, but also, nothing happens! Squat! Nothing! Nada! Absolute absence of things happening. And the CIA guys are like, What happened? And the guy's like, I don't know! And the other guy's like, Okay. The end! I never saw a movie where everything happened and nothing happened! It was like the Seinfeld of spy thrillers! It makes no sense! But it was funny! And it was shown in a warm, warm building! So I give it two thumbs up! I'm doing this because Ebert and Roper aren't around anymore. So I figure I can take over the job! As both critics! What'd you think of the movie, Chester? I loved it! Me too! Hooray! Hooray! Hooray indeed. This is Chester E. Bum saying, Change! You got change? Ah, oh, come on, help a guy out, will ya? Come on, change!